Hey friends, it's Lenny here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2001 Ford Focus and I want to show you how to replace the alternator. It's going to be a fairly easy job and I want to be the guy that shows you how to do it. If you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay, so one of the first things we want to do after we open the hood is we're going to disconnect the battery. Over here. We're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal, which is the ground. You want to make sure if you have a stereo in there that has a security system, you know what your code is. Um, you're going to have to reset all your presets and all that, so it is what it is. Just a heads up. The reason why we're removing the negative and not the positive is because if we're undoing the negative and we happen to touch on something that's grounded, it's going to short out and it could cause a pulse through your electrical system and mess up your you know, computer in there, PCM or ECM or anything, blow a fuse. Best case scenario, blow, blow a fuse. Okay, so we've got this so it can't pop up and hit up against there. Now we're clear to move on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna use a 10 millimeter. Get this one out, I'm gonna use my socket. We don't have to disconnect the uh, coolant hoses, we just need to move this stuff out of the way. what that screw looks like in one second. That's what it looks like. Nice and rusted. Set it aside for later. Sometimes you can just lift up on this. Other times you need to pull a tab. This one just comes right up. It's missing the little clip you do there. Let's pull this aside. Got a clear view of this motor mount here. Now we need to remove this power steering. This just slides right up. go. Set this aside as well. Try not to put that upside down. Not that it really matters, but stay. Thank you. Okay. We've got a clear view of our alternator now. What we're going to do first is we're just going to disconnect this top electrical harness. It's got a little thumb squeeze tab. If you can't squeeze it with your thumb, you can use whatever you have next to you. I know this screwdriver is a little overkill. It's just what I had next to me. All you do is push down, pull it. Take a peek at all your electrical connectors. If you take anything apart that's electrical, just take a peek. Make sure you don't see any funny colors, greens, blues, red, dirt, rust. You don't want any of that in there. Now we can go ahead and remove our seven and our seven, and we'll get this out of the way. this last bolt out of here. That's what it looks like. Put it up with the other one. There's a little rubber bushing here. You can either take it out or leave it in there. It's completely up to you what you want to do. We've got all this moved aside now. Now we have a complete clear view of the alternator. Okay, so I've got my 14 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna bring it down here. The tensioner is located right underneath the alternator. The tensioner is what keeps tension on the belt, obviously. Maybe I needed to say it, maybe I didn't. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab the wrench, carefully pull it towards the front of the vehicle. It's going to relieve tension on the tensioner and make it so the belt's loose. At that point, I'm going to use my other hand, and I'm just going to try to slide the belt off of one of the smooth pulleys, which would be this one right here. With all goes well, it should be fairly easy. So I'm going to grab it, carefully pull it, make sure I don't get myself into any pinch points can be dangerous, so, you know, safety first. Number one concern here at 1A Auto. I'm just gonna give this a little pull, just like that. Try to pull the belt off of the smooth pulley. Now I'm gonna bring the uh, wrench back. There we are. You can get the belt off of there. Perfect. We'll just leave this down like this. Hopefully. There we are. Right on the back side of the alternator is the electrical connector. That might be a little bit easier to get to once we unbolt it. So I'll try to unbolt the alternator first. At that point, we might be able to move it around and have a better view of what's going on with that. It's just a push connector, but to get the right angle, it's kind of hard to do. So 
I'm just gonna unbolt this. I'm gonna grab the tool to do it. We've got a mounting bolt here and we'll have another one underneath there. Okay, so just to show you where the bolts are on this, we have our wiring. It's pretty much the alternator is gonna sit just like this inside the vehicle. So we've got one here, okay? The other one's straight across. It's pretty much located underneath the pulley down under there. So easy peasy, just two bolts to mount it. Once we get it unmounted, we can uh, use a little pry bar, pry it out of there. We should be able to flip it enough to be able to see this, which is a little squeeze clip. And this right here, we'll be able to take that off as well. I'm gonna set this aside. We don't need it in our hand. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter. Try to get it on this bolt. All I wanna do is try to break it free, give it a couple cranks here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one, which is a little bit harder to get to. Um, so I'll save this one, you know, fully removing this one till the end. Okay, that's loose. Just get my socket off of there. And this one over. Okay, I need to get my wrench out of there. I was hoping I could leave it in there, but it says no. Bolt's almost out. Finally turn it by hand. A little bit of penetrant spray really came in handy on this. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Just keep working it. Pull to the side here, or to the front, whatever it is. So that's the bolt. I have to assume it was probably threaded in about this far. Yeah. Thank you, Ford. We'll set that aside. We're gonna work on our forward bolt now. I'm gonna grab a shorter socket. Still sticking with my 10 millimeter though. Just going a little shorter. I'm gonna try to get this one out of here. There it is. Same as the first bolt. We don't have to worry about mixing them up my breath. I'm going to grab a pry bar and I'm just going to try to go between the engine mount or the mount on the engine where the alternator mounts onto and the alternator and just give it a little pry. I just want to pull the alternator away. And once it gets far enough off of there, it should be clear to move around. So there's that side. Let's see if I can get the bottom side to come up as well. It's still wired in, so bear that in mind when you're doing this. Okay, nice and free. Very cool. I mean, nothing's ever really easy on these, but that's why we do it. We live for the challenge, the fight. All right, right here is the uh, push pin that I was telling you about, the little push. You push that and then you lift up on the wiring harness and it separates. Take a peek at your electrical connector, of course. That looks great. Set that aside. Right there, you have a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna remove that. I'm just gonna grab my 10 millimeter socket I was using. Um, if you're not replacing the alternator, you're just removing it so you can get to where you need to go. I would use some penetrant. Just get this on there. More than likely, this is gonna break right here. It's very common. Kind of trying to shake it a little bit, see if I can get it to break free. If you felt as though that part's gonna break, there's a nut right back here. You can uh, remove that one. Get that nut off of there. That's what the nut looks like. Got a little washer on there. We'll set that aside. 
and grab this, slide it off of there, just like that. There we are. Okay, we can move on to the next step. All right, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna clear a little space to get the alternator up through here. So I'm just gonna disconnect this right here. Use something like a pocket screwdriver. Press right down in between there. I'd say give it a twist, but that doesn't look like it's looking too healthy. So I'm just gonna try to separate the two. Get that piece out of there. There we go. Take a peek. Looks good. We'll set this stuff aside. Now I'm gonna remove this bolt right here. It's gonna take off this bracket, 10 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Super loose with a ratchet, but not so loose by finger. those two look like. Just put them together, we'll set them aside. So that gives us a little bit more room. Now I'm going to come over here, take these two green pieces, squeeze them together and push out that green piece. Put on my safety glasses. I'm just going to pull this. It should separate. There we are. We'll set this right aside. Okay, just giving us some room here. Now I'm just gonna try to take these, try to slide them as far out of the way as possible. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use my little forky tool. Go right down in between the bracket and this wiring harness. I'm gonna give it a tug as I pull. Just some little wiring there. We'll shove this down and out of the way. All I'm trying to do here is just make as much room as possible for me to get this alternator up through here. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna try to um, gently maneuver them down and as far back as possible so I can have as much space as I can to get the alternator up and through here. Give it a little push. Okay, friends. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here. There's three 15 millimeter headed bolts. One, two, and three down there, okay? I'm gonna loosen those up, slash take them out. And that's so I can take this engine and I can maneuver it a little bit. Obviously, I don't wanna lift it right out of the car or anything, but it would be nice to move it a little bit. Hopefully give us a little bit more space behind here. All right. So I'm just gonna use my safety glasses, hand protection, 15 millimeter, and an air gun. You can use whatever you have, but the bolts are 15 millimeters. There we are. Okay. I might need to go get a floor jack. I'm gonna try to lift up the engine a little bit and then I'll be able to slide it out of the way. Okay, so we've got our floor jack. I've got a nice pad. If you don't have a pad, make sure you use wood. We're gonna wheel this under. We're gonna go underneath the uh, corner slash edge of the oil pan. The edge should have uh, plenty of support. If you go underneath the center, there's a possibility that you could crush it. We don't wanna do any of that. All we wanna do though, is be able to lift up this uh, engine a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Once this is up, we should be able to move the engine around or at least move it forward. That's gonna give us more room to be able to get that alternator out of there. Okay. <clears throat> the engine can move around quite a bit. Let's see if it helped us out any. See if 
I can get it unwedged from where it is. This alternator is something else, I'll tell you that. They really buried it. Oh yeah. And there we have our alternator. Okay friends, a quick product comparison for you. Over here, we have our 2001 Ford Focus alternator. We just removed it. Over here, we have our brand new quality 1A auto part. Yeah, it's a little dirty, my hands, my gloves are dirty. But I just wanna show you, they match up completely the same. Brand new pulley, it's got all the same amount of ribs there. It's very important, make sure you have the same amount of ribs, okay? The size of the alternator is the same. We don't have one that's really, really big and one that's really small. They both look exactly the same. We've got, we have our electrical areas. We've got our connector area right here. Same as there. Same amount of prongs. Right here is the part that we took off because we couldn't get the nut off. Here's where it is. That's the nut that we couldn't get off of the old one. This one comes with a new piece. If for some reason you can't get that nut off the other side and you can't get it off the line and you did not break this, you can reuse it. If you kept trying and you snapped this, obviously you can't reuse it, I mean. But to go ahead and replace that, all you do is pop off this cover, take out that 10 millimeter right there, and then you know just put your old one right onto there. So that's pretty easy. Looks the same from the rear. Nothing different about them. They're both the exact same. I don't see any reason why this wouldn't be a great part to install into the vehicle, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. If you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay, let's get the alternator in. We've got our brand new quality 1A Auto part. Hopefully it goes in a little easier than it wanted to come out, because that was fun. Everything's just got to be lined up perfect. The star's got to be aligned. There we are. Okay, our alternator's uh, back in here a little bit. We're just gonna grab our lead wire, that's this. Maybe yours still has this attached to the old alternator and this wire came off for you. In which case you would just tighten up this nut, you would put this nut back on, tighten it up. For me personally, I had to take off this whole thing off the old one, so I'm just gonna put it onto the new one. I've got my new alternator nut. I'm gonna put it washer side down, obviously. If I can get it lined up, there isn't very much to grab onto here. Gonna mess with me. Here we are. Uh, it's a good idea to do this before you go ahead and mount the alternator in there. People have been known to try doing it afterward, and it's just, it just turns out to be a nightmare, and you take it all the way back out. Uh, I've seen it done before. What happens is you can't get to this nut because the plastic intake is in the way. So though depth of the socket and the ratchet becomes an issue and you can't get a wrench down in there obviously uh, so just make sure that's snug um, you don't want to break off that stud so once it feels like it's bottomed out just give it a little bit extra not too much and you should be good to go now we're gonna roll this down we're gonna get the ears lined up with the bracket assembly The way to get it slid in essentially is from as far back as you can, just try to bring it back and then line up the alternator slots. They look like this with the bracket that looks like this. You just go from the back, right like that. And as you do that with the front side, the rear should be doing the same exact thing as well. So if you try coming in from up top and you go, eh, it won't go in because it's going at an angle, it doesn't like that, just go from the back, slide it right in, okay? That looks like it's pretty good. Get our bolts. Just 
Wiggle the alternator around a little bit if you need to. There we are. I'm not going to go ahead and tighten that up yet, obviously. I'm just going to get it a few good threads. This rearward bolt, you're going to need to come in at an angle and come from the top of that brake line. Okay? So right on, over the top of it, you find your slot or your hole. Just kind of bring it in. Start it in the hole. Some gentle force. Should slide it right in. Okay, both of these are started. Give it a tug just to make sure that it does have good threads, yeah. Cool. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and bottom both of these out and then we'll snug them up. Okay. Shake it around. Feels good, it's not going anywhere. Probably feels good. Sweet. Okay. Move along to our next step here. Start grabbing some of this stuff. Start lining it back up with where it needs to go. This is gonna go over there. This thing was right about here. We got this. It's gonna go under here. Clips onto right there. So there's the green clip. Once you get it, your line slid in there, you just pop that in and that locks it, okay? The green thing's the lock. You need to make sure you lock it in. So slide it in and then push the green thing. You should see the two little ears come up and then lock out. That's going nowhere. That looks good, okay? Grab this, that's gonna go there. Around. Should be electrical connectors. Move that again real quick just so we can see. We tuck some electrical connectors away, so we'll take them back out. This one right here. Bring it up and around if you want. Just right up yeah, between here. It likes it there. Got our connector here. Bring that down. Connection, good connection. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see, this line right here should push right into that. That makes it so it can't flop around too much. All right, we got these. We've got this little bracket right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, Let me try to take a look. On here. Just look at it, see which way it looks like it goes. It goes this way. It has to go this way. Just like that. And that's where this clip's gonna go on to, holds it from flopping around. Right here, Let's just move this. We have our little blue clip right there. I'm just gonna push that back into its hole. We'll take this, this big, uh, the wider prong right there. That slides into that groove right there, and then it should lock in. Let's see if we can get it to do it. That feels good. Going nowhere. Okay, just make sure we don't have anything hanging around right here. This goes to the back of the alternator. Right up along the top, you have your electrical connector. We're going to push it in, listen for a click. There we are. Give it a little tug. That feels good. Okay, the way we're going to do these going to take the uh, metal part out of the center of the rubber. At this point, you can put it where it needs to go. Just 
like that. If you need to use a little bit of lubricant, just grab some penetrant spray or silicone, whatever you have access to. Slide it back in there, just like that. Line it up with where it needs to go. Take your bolt, start it in. Do the same thing with the other one. This one's a little harder to reach, of course. There we are. Now we're just gonna snug those up. I'm gonna grab my socket. All right, we're gonna use our seven millimeter socket. Snug it. Doesn't have to be anything uh, too crazy tight. We're just screwing into plastic here. No need to use an air gun or anything, obviously. It's going nowhere. Feels good. Okay. So we've got the belt going around all the pulleys here. I'm gonna use my 14 millimeter wrench on the tensioner. I'm gonna try to pull on this wrench to relieve pressure from the tensioner. And hopefully have enough slack with my belt. Okay, get this on there, release tension. All right, just take a peek. Make sure your belt's on all the pulleys. Looks good. Perfect. Get our three bolts started. There we are. Gonna get all these started. I'm going to lower the engine real quick. There we are. Tight, tight. Tight, tight, tight. Looks good. We can continue. Okay. Get this situated. Just get it all lined up back to where we took it apart. Press this down in there. That rear weird one needs to go in better. There we are. Very nice. Okay, this right here should have a little uh, thing that comes out and it slides over this. We're gonna pretend it's there, slide it over. We've got a little 10 millimeter bolt right here. Just gonna see about starting it in. There we are, all right. Okay, so now it's time to reconnect the negative battery terminal. When you go to connect it, it might arc or spark, make a funny noise, might scare you a little bit essentially. All you wanna do is just put it on there, one and done. Don't put it on, spark, jump it off, anything like that, just go one and done. Here we go, a little spark, no big deal. Push it down as far as it can go, and then just use your 10 millimeter, snug it up. Give it a little wiggle. It's not going anywhere. Grab our cover. Just goes in right under here. That's right there. There it is. Bonk, bonk. There we go. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.